towards the sky. Go ahead and bend your right knee. Open up your hip. Now let's step to warrior two. Right foot in between your palm. And exhale. Last one. Breathe in. Manifestation is a powerful way to bring your future into the reality. Visualize yourself doing each and everything that you always wanted to do. Acceptance. To have total acceptance of others, I must first gain full acceptance of myself. So I align myself to live as me, not how I want others to perceive me. Nothing I do is upsetting, embarrassing, or intolerable. I am simply me, and that is good enough. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, January 10th. I just made breakfast. Um, this is a Siete almond flour tortilla and then tofu scramble in there with tomatoes. It's eight in the morning. I woke up at six. That's when I started filming. And I decided to film today so I could hold myself accountable and do my morning routine and kind of just get back into the swing of things and my healthy habits. I would say that overall, I've been pretty good. Like overall, um, mentally I've been good. Overall with my habits, I'm pretty good. Obviously around the holiday time and plus I went on vacation, you kind of get off track of course but something i really used to take pride in or maybe that's not the right word like something i really appreciated was that i used to wake up really early so that i would do stuff in the morning for myself and it's like the whole point of a morning routine you know and lately since i work from home and just like winter time i'm tired i don't know uh, I snooze my alarm so many times and I never used to snooze my alarm like if y'all used to watch me or if, if you knew me before which none of you would have like known that because nobody stays here you know but I never snooze my alarm so when I I try I've been trying to wake up at six o'clock but then I snooze until like 7 40 and that's so bad because then I end up feeling really sleepy or I just don't feel well I get a headache from that and it just makes me feel crappy and then I don't have time for things to do myself. There's a couple of things I'll always squeeze in. But typically I just, you know, start getting ready for to, to work and then I make breakfast and I, I start working. And I don't like that. I really like to do stuff for myself. And also when I was doing yoga this morning, I was doing yoga with Cassandra. And she had said like, your morning yoga practice is a way to show yourself love and also to set the intention for the day and that's exactly what I feel about morning routines like this is a way to show myself love even if sometimes you don't want to wake up it's just doing these things I know makes me a better person and makes my life a little bit better so I want to get back into that oh I have a headache y'all it's so annoying okay as my coffee brews do y'all see this? We're gonna talk about books. We're gonna talk about books, but I just wanted y'all to see this. Uh, can you see the bottom? I have my own damn bookstore, y'all. My own bookstore. These are books I've already read. This pot, can y'all tell? Yeah, this pile here. And then this, which has, there's a whole stack behind, like. I haven't read those yet or these in the front. But yeah, I don't care. I am so genuinely happy to have all of these. I eventually need to purchase a much larger bookshelf and I'm just gonna hold off on that because they're, they're just gonna be here. But I wanted to talk about the books I read in December real quick. I read four books in December and for 2022, 
I read 28 books, which is the most I've probably ever read. Another Colleen Hoover, I read It Starts With Us. I read this on vacation. I finished this basically within a day, maybe a day and a half. Uh, I was sitting on the beach reading this, waiting for our bus reading this, and yeah, I wrapped it up pretty quickly. I love it. I don't care what anybody says. I think it was great. We all know we're team Atlas. I love Atlas, and it, like, this book made me multiple times be like, oh, Atlas, like, oh, this is so cute. And it's just, it's a little bit upsetting to read books because the way people describe the way people describe, well, Colleen Hoover in particular, she's really good at like, she's really good at making love, relationships, kissing, anything sound like the best thing in the world. Like these people taste a certain way and um, there's like electricity running through you, which it's like, yeah, it's just interesting. It's interesting because I feel like a lot of us who read these books are given a false sense of how something is supposed to feel because it, you know, once you're in a relationship for a long time or even in a new relationship, like the way she describes it is not what you would necessarily feel. And I find that like frustrating for some reason. It is a fiction book, you know, it's made up. So they're going to to add to it and make you feel a certain way. But it's it's like frustrating that you don't actually experience things to this extent, you know? Obviously, I'm in a great relationship. I absolutely love Sebastian. He's my best friend. But it's just how she puts it into words and all these other romance books that it's like, is something wrong with my... It starts to make you to question, like, is something wrong with me? Is something wrong with my relationship? But that's just, like, not the reality of relationships. And I feel like not a lot of people talk about that. But anyways, I'm excited for this movie to come out. Um, this is the second book after it ends with us. So if you're reading, don't read this first. Read the, the pink one first. It, it ends with us. I was thinking about who I would see. The, I think a movie's coming out. And I don't know who the actors are going to be yet. But I was thinking that Ryle would be that guy from The Kissing Booth. The tall guy, that's who I see, that's who I envision Ryle in my head. That's what I imagine he looks like. And for some reason, don't hate me for this, but I see Lily as the girl from season one of You. Her name is slipping my mind right now. I keep thinking Amy, but it's not Amy. Um, I'll put her picture up, but that's who I see as Lily. And I know she, I didn't like her character in You, but that's just what I imagine her looking like. Atlas, I'm not sure yet. I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> okay, final book I read in December was All the Bright Places. I finished this in less than 24 hours. I just read this straight through while on vacation. I cried. I cried several times toward the end of it, like just reading it. And then after I finished the book, I like cried. I watched the movie for this, by the way. It was fine. The movie was fine. I still cried in the movie, but it is not what happens in the book. They did not, in my opinion, do a good job of aligning it with the book. Like They tried, but it was not comparable at all. Uh, also, not what I saw the characters looking like, so it was just hard to see that. But this is very young romance, like they're in high school, but it is so beautiful and heartbreaking at the same time. Like it makes me want to cry right now, just thinking about it. I, I'm really sensitive to any, I don't want to give away the spoilers, but um, I'm just really sensitive to loss, uh, like imagining losing somebody. Like I, I don't want to talk about it even because I don't, I don't like the idea of it. But yeah, I will remember this book forever. It's a super easy read and I found it entertaining the whole time, but uh, yeah, it was just sad. I would look up the trigger warnings on this too, by the way, if you're concerned about that, but I don't, you know, every book is triggering, I guess. Then this year I started reading, this is the book I started in January, um, Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. Finished this in a few days. This was a really good one. <sighs> This was a really good one as I was reading it, but it didn't finish strong to me. Like I finished it in a few days. So again, that means it's, it's pretty good. 
but nothing like groundbreaking happened at the end and sorry if I'm spoiling it but like I just wanted a little bit more to happen I guess or I was like expecting something bigger and also they were just like the way that the girl acted I guess it's somewhat realistic but the way that the girl acted um what was her name Sapphire Sapphire Maddox it was like what why would you do that like just go to the police type of thing you know so but as I was reading this, I was trying to figure out like who did this, what happened, blah, blah, blah. I was expecting a little bit more to come out of like what the dad did or um, yeah, I don't, it was good. Like I, again, I would, I would recommend it if you want just like something to read. Pretty good book, uh, just kind of fell short at the end. Now I'm just gonna run through a book haul of all the books that I bought. I bought these all in December. I literally ordered 20 books in December. I ordered these on vacation. Uh, the reason I ordered so many is because I'm doing a no spend year for 2023. I know it kind of defeats the purpose, but I also had a $75 gift card to Amazon. So that covered a large chunk of these. Um, I bought some, did I buy any used? I always tried to, but maybe I didn't. I did buy four book series. The first one is Shadow and Bone trilogy. Uh, I, this went viral I guess on TikTok. I just watched some booktubes, booktubers and if they like it I buy it or if I hear this multiple times I'm like all right I'm gonna give it a chance and that's by Lee Bardugo. Is this the second part of it? Yes okay and then I think these come after or they're like related. The Six of Crows duology I bought The Cruel Prince, uh, the series is called The Folk of the Air, um, but I think some people know it by The Cruel, Cruel Prince trilogy, so got this three pack. And then finally I got the Akatar series, which is the Court of Thrones, with <laughs> some big ass books here, but a Court of Thrones and a Court of Thorns and Roses, whoops. Not Thrones, the Court of Thorns and Roses. Uh, apparently this is pretty good, so we'll see. I feel like I'm stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit with these books, so that's intriguing. I got Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I love how this feels, like it's so thick and it's, I love it. Got Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. These were basically just books on my to be read, like what I wanted to read on my wish list. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I heard this was really good. Some of these I have from um, the free, they were, I pulled them off my shelf and put them here. Um, the Summer of Broken Rules. I did, buy, I did buy Jennifer Niven's other book. I can't remember the title right now, but I bought that. And then um, something with like Bailey. I haven't gotten it yet. It's, I think it's in my mailbox actually right now, but I haven't gone down there. Um, I did buy The Maidens. Oh, and I'm currently reading Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. So that was the other one I got. Let me know if y'all have read these, what you think of them. I kind of love this little corner of my apartment. Just happy sitting here. I have to sit proper AF. Is this all the way down? I just made some tea, Earl Grey cream. And I'm clearly working, but I have been having really bad neck pain. I've always, like for months, I've dealt with neck pain. And I remember back in, I think it was 2020, because that's why I originally went to the chiropractor was neck pain. I, I think it was from sleeping at that time. Um, but now it's been because of work. I know that, like... Not only the way that I sit, because I sit like an idiot, but also I think like this, just stress of work, you know? And I notice that even if I'm sitting proper, sometimes if there's something on the screen that I'm going to look at, I'll like, I'll pull this number here, like trying to read it. And that is a problem. Uh, so I've been going this year, well, 2022, I started going to the chiropractor again consistently every six weeks and my doctor's great. I go to a sports chiropractor so it's not just like the joint where they literally crack everything without even considering every anything. The sports chiropractor actually like 
takes into consideration your issues and they spend like 20 minutes with you instead of five minutes and there's some massage incorporated into it or cupping. Um, I feel like I need to put y'all a little, I wanna look at y'all, but it's hurting my neck. I went yesterday and I've gone multiple times over the last year and this time I was like expressing my concerns because the neck pain is so bad that sometimes I, it, like, it just feels hard to hold my head up. It feels like my head weighs 300 pounds, obviously I'm being dramatic, but it just feels like so much work to hold my head up. So I was like, when should I be concerned? Should I go to the doctor? And this was before vacation and I realized when I was on vacation, I had no neck pain because I'm not sitting at a desk and sitting with poor posture. So he did x-rays anyway, which I'm not sure why they didn't do x-rays before, but I'm glad I got those done because let me, I'll put them up on the screen, but I'm just gonna look at them as I describe them because there is, there's no like major issue. He was saying like my discs are, the spacing is good and whatever. But if you look at the one from the front on, my, the left side of my neck is crooked. Like my, I'm like, I'm like that. Like that's so bad. And then if you look from the side, he was saying that my neck, like the neck should have a curvature at the front. Some people have it straight and that's not good either, but it should be curved and mine goes slightly backwards. So again, he said that's from people who typically sit at a desk or type and look at a screen. All in all, I have a weak neck, you know? So I am looking into exercises. I was just watching a video in the background of like exercises to do and I am holding myself accountable again. Like I, this shit hurts. I was tearing up earlier because of how uncomfortable I felt. That's all I can, like I'm trying to work on my stuff but it's all I can focus on. I, I can feel the pain. Now I wanna make sure that I'm training my neck two to three times a week. It shouldn't take more than like 10 minutes. I wrote down a few exercises. I can't, I can't. I also bought, you probably hear sirens, sorry. I also bought this, which is obviously a stand for my laptop and my monitor so that everything is higher up and I can have my arms down when I'm typing because I noticed I would, you know, I wanted to look forward or look up when I'm working. So I would raise the desk either when I'm standing or when I'm sitting and then I would end up typing like up here because of how high it was and that's not good for my neck either. We'll see. I'm up y'all, I'm up. I was really tempted today to stay in bed. This is our opportunity to slowly wake up. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I know we already spoke this morning, but that was a couple of hours ago. It's now 8.20. I'm at my desk, clearly, wanted to chat for a second. First thing, <laughs> I love this juice, obsessed with it, it's so good. It's the Suja Turmeric Love. This tastes like a diluted version of the immunity shots. And those immunity shots, I don't think taste bad, but it kind of burns, you know? This does not burn. I do not drink a full bottle of this though, however, if you wanted to, it's not so bad. There's only 20 calories for the whole bottle, five carb, two grams of sugar, uh, no added sugar, which is crazy to me. Um, they use stevia, don't they? Yeah, stevia leaf extract powder. So I guess that's why, but I only drink half at a time. So I had like half of this finishing it. Last night I finished Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I started this on the 6th. Yesterday was the 10th, so finished it in like four to five days. I didn't read every day either. So that means it was a good one and kept my attention. This one made me tear up a couple of times. If, if you don't want any spoilers at all or like any context to this book, then skip to, I'll put a time up here when I stop talking about this. So this book is about a girl who just got out of prison. Uh, she's young. I think she's only like 25 or 26, but she was in prison for five years because she drove while intoxicated and the car crashed. It was just their car, her car that she was driving that crashed. 
and her boyfriend died. Uh, and so she went to prison for five years, but she did have a baby in prison from the boyfriend who died. And so she gets out of prison and want, like her goal is to meet her baby, like, who is now, you know, four or five years old, but she wants to be in her life. Uh, so she goes to the town where she lives. She ends up meeting a, a guy. Um, so that's kind of covering this story. There's a little bit of a twist to it. It gets into the twist pretty quickly. And it's, um, you know, like as, as Colleen Hoover is explaining it, you're like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, this one was interesting because you're hearing it from her perspective and she was like the drunk driver in the case, you know? And I, I think drunk driving is like awful, obviously. I think most people would think that, but a lot of people do it, you know? And when I think of somebody who's a drunk driver, that makes me really, really angry. So it was almost hard to see her in a positive light. Like, yes, it was from her point of view and the guy's point of view as well. And like, yes, she was a good person, you know, like, people make mistakes, but it's like, you can't make mistakes like that, you know? And, uh, I mean, even if her boyfriend drove, he probably would have wrecked the car too and killed her or killed both of them. So it's just like hard to like her because of that, but, uh, it kind of breaks through that. And it's also interesting to see that perspective because, you know, when somebody's drunk driving, obviously they're not in the right state of mind and, they're not being intentional about the bad thing that ends up happening if something do bad does happen. So I know that they probably have these similar feelings, like they feel really bad about it. They have to go through grief as well because they may have killed somebody that they love or killed somebody else. And I understand that, but it's just, it is a little bit hard for me to empathize. I don't know. It was just, it was interesting. It was interesting to to see how I felt throughout the book. Like I do like her character, Kenna's character. And I, I like the guy she ends up meeting and every, I love how this ends. It's a beautiful story. And I teared up a couple of times, like when she was explaining the story, when it was, you know, the ending. But the part that really got me was, I won't read it, was the acknowledgements. I thought it was really sweet. Actually, I said there would be spoilers, so I'll read what, what got to me. No matter how whole our neighbors appear on the outside, we have no idea how many broken pieces they're made up of on the inside. Reading is a hobby, but for some of us, it's an escape from the difficulties we face. To all of you who escape into books, I want to thank you for escaping into this one. But I also want to apologize for never being able to write romantic comedies, no matter how much I try. I started, I started this one thinking it was going to be a romantic comedy, but obviously the characters weren't in the mood for that. Maybe next time. And for some reason that really got me. I didn't like sob or anything, but that made me tear up more than like the actual story. That was a good book. Um, I do recommend. I don't know what to read next. This is the hardest part about having a stack of like 30 plus books in my living room. What do I read next? I don't know. I'll have to think about it and I'll have to make a decision tonight. Um, I'm thinking one of the trilogies or duologies or something because that kind of sounds exciting, but then I feel like I almost have to commit to reading the whole thing at once, kind of like what I did with After. And actually the After series, I never read the final, final book, which was called Before, and it was like from Hardin's point of view. I haven't, I haven't read that yet. Um, so I don't know what I wanna read, but it's exciting. Like I get to choose, you know, I'm grateful. I have options. Okay. It is, what time? Is it one o'clock? It's one o'clock. I need to film a video real quick from like during my lunch break. Um, not gonna lie, like I've been fine with work. I really have been fine, but I just feel a little bit like I'm drowning today <laughs> because I have a new client and it's a lot of work, uh, lots of work. Like, yeah, there's just, I have so many tickets assigned to me and, um, it's just been overwhelming and then I did something this morning for a client and it was like what I considered above and beyond. I created a layout of how a flow works, like the process and put screenshots and explained how everything works. 
But then I shared it with the guy who like I've been working with this on and he was like, I think they want more of something just like a general overview. So I was like, so basically just boxes, arrows and texts. And he was like, yes, with a little bit more detail. So that was just like a waste of my time. And I was, I mean, I'm still going to send it to the lady, but very frustrating because I put a lot of effort into that. And then um, I just saw something else, an item that I completed earlier this week there there was like an issue with it and then they, the client wants something added to it so i feel like a little bit like i'm drowning but i've been really good about making sure i you know prioritize one myself during these times because like the work i'll get my work done no matter what like i'll get it done even if you know it's later on in the week um and then i want to walk like i need to walk every day for the most part unless it's raining and when I take a break, I, you know, if I need to film, I will film because everything, I, I start work early. I usually end work late, so I have time in between. But yeah, I probably should stop chatting. I do need to, I, used, I need to use this memory card anyway. I have a 32 gig memory card that I need to find. I have no clue where it is. I've lost, it's been lost for months and it like, I'm the worst with my memory cards. You can ask Sebastian, he gets onto me about it all the time. But I'll like take out a memory card and just like place it all around my apartment. And he's like, you're going to break it. You're going to lose it. And I, I never, I never lose things. Uh, but this thing I've lost because it's a tiny SD card and I have no clue where it is. I typically, I sometimes put them on my couch here and I feel like it might've fallen or something. Do y'all see me right now? Did I just take a shower? No. I just came up from gently lock my door. Okay. Y'all are on my tripod, which I was filming on before. I do have two packages. It's January, it's 2023. I'm doing a no spend year, but this is household. So stuff I needed. And I actually wanted to talk about this. I've switched back to Earth Breeze. I've worked with them before. I'm not, this is not sponsored. They did not send me these. I paid for these myself. I've started, I started buying these again because I just, I really like how they work. Like this is what they package it in. And then it comes in this, which these are compostable. Like the packaging is compostable, I'm pretty sure. But it's way less packaging than, you know, like a jug of, detergent and I feel like I was buying that more frequently than I wanted to uh, I just want to do a little bit more for the environment and I can because this isn't that much more expensive so I'll have this link down below I buy there's only t the fresh scent or fragrance free and I do buy fragrance free because I wash all my towels pillowcases and my face towels with fragrance free um, so I don't buy that as much but I buy that one more frequently. And then I did order my creatine. This is just a repurchase from PE Science. This time I got a big one because I've been taking it every single day or I did not take it consistently throughout December because of the holidays and stuff and traveling. They always give samples, but nine times out of 10, they're not vegan. Green sample, cool, Sebastian can have that. Frosted chocolate cupcake. This is not vegan. Another one, not vegan. Uh, not vegan. This is the book I'm gonna read. Start reading. A Little Life. I bought this back in April. So, and I know it's a tear jerker from what I've heard. There are over 800 pages in this book and the font is Pretty tiny, pretty tiny compared to like Colleen Hoover and the other young adult stuff that I read. So I'm expecting this will take me a few weeks, which is exciting, but also sad for me at the same time, because I just, I have never felt so passionate about reading as I have these last few weeks. And uh, I just can't describe it to you. I just love it. I love it so, so much. Oh man, I put earrings in, I need to put earrings in. Good morning, happy Thursday, I can't believe it's already Thursday. I did wake up at six and did my full routine today. 
Sorry I'm not filming it. I just feel like it'll be boring. Like, do y'all want to see the same thing every day? I don't think so. If I keep this up for long enough, I'll probably film like a separate morning routine video. I am really tired, so I think a nap might be good today. <laughs> it's Thursday, which is good, but it's not Friday. I have been doing my neck exercises. I did them this morning. I did them yesterday. I'm not going to be able to get this guy, obviously, exactly as it looks, but this is, this is about it. Like, what? It was just storming, by the way. Like, we were in a tornado watch. I think we still are. But, wow. And also, my sister's texting me. She sent me a couple of photos of this guy around her house. My mom texted me about the storm and then was saying how cool the sky looks. And then Sebastian sent me a photo where he is <laughs> of the sky and the rainbow that popped up. Crazy. I love it. Good morning. It's Friday. It's payday. I woke up. As I mentioned earlier in this vlog, I started reading A Little Life and I'm bored. Y'all, tell me it gets better. I mean, granted, I will. Honestly, this video probably won't go up for who knows how long. <laughs> but I really hope that book gets better because. As of right now, I don't like it. Like, it's alright. It's just, I'm bored reading it. And it's hard to keep up with everybody. And I'm having a hard time imagining what the people look like. Like, there's four main characters. JB, Jude, Willem, maybe Malcolm is the fourth guy? I know this is all set up kind of weird. Um, the reason I have... My chair, I mean, you can't even see it really, but there's my chair here, my desk chair, because I put a pillow on it so that I can put this red light box. I can link it down below. I was really researching in like November, December, the benefits of red light therapy. I first heard about it, well, I've heard about it before, you know, but there's this doctor who I was following or I still follow but you know I'm not on Instagram Dr. Gonzalez I think and he's like a vegan doctor I really like him but he's not like preachy about being vegan it's just what he what he is and I like that obviously and he had promoted red light therapy how it's like one of the best things you could do and I just I really like what he talks about all the time like he does it in a way that's not like shunning people you know like you shouldn't do that you shouldn't do this he's just he just goes over he has a podcast too dr g or something i don't know I'll, I'll find him i'll link him below but that's why i got this ultimately i figured i could use this light in more ways than one because primarily i've been doing my face but it's also supposed to help with inflammation and pain because inflammation causes pain uh, so sometimes I use it on my knees because I still get knee pain here and there, uh, which basically that's from like my Crohn's and stuff. So you can't get in your in your eyes. So go wear these babies. Easing gently into this new day. Bye. <laughs> Howdy. Have I filmed today? I have. I have. Barely. I filmed this morning. It's now 5.35 p.m. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. I know it's bad, but y'all, I've, I've been living for the weekends. Not really. I mean, I, I have decent weekdays, you know? I feel like I... Eh, I don't know. I just get excited for the weekend, because tomorrow I get to wake up and not log on to work <laughs> which is beautiful this was a very long week uh, I'm putting on my shoes if you couldn't tell but very long week I don't really feel like going to that down to the gym because you know I just I'm tired and want to be lazy but I didn't go to the gym yesterday um, I'm okay with not going to the gym yesterday because my body was hurting 
so look at my shirt by the way i love it i like my whole outfit today actually this shirt is i got it last month in december from hollister it was on sale for like seven dollars and some change but then I had a $10 off coupon, so all I had to pay for was shipping, but I had my Hollister gift card, so I got this for free, paid for the shipping, but that was with my gift card, so overall free. And I just really, really like this shirt. It's so soft. It's like my new favorite big t-shirt because it's so comfy. Good morning, y'all. Today's Saturday, three-day weekend, as I said yesterday. Um, it's 11.15 in the morning, and... This morning I woke up early, before 7. Actually, my body woke me up and I had to be up. <laughs> I'm going to take my car to the dealership because th my hood won't open. And the last place that had it open was the dealership because I got service done. I got an oil change and all that stuff back in September. So I'm going to go there. And then there's this restaurant called The Green. And it's all vegan. It's like an Asian cuisine, so good. And I know that my friend likes it, so that's why I reached out to her. So I kind of want like sushi and spring rolls and some rice or something. So we're gonna get together after my car and go for a walk probably after that. Hello, today's now Monday. Uh, I didn't pick up the camera after I went out on Saturday, hung out with my friend, we got lunch and then coffee went for a walk it was pretty cold out but we had a good time that was awesome and then Sebastian ended up coming over he was in Atlanta with his friend so he ended up coming over and staying and he left earlier this morning um, so yeah we just kind of had a lazy day yesterday but also went for a really long walk oh we got pizza <laughs> today is I had the day off because it's MLK day I went and got a tarot reading, which was really good, and I'm gonna I'm closing out this video now, but I'm about to go down to the gym, and I kind of wanted to just talk about a little bit about my goals and reflecting on the last year. I don't want to go too into depth because y'all know I can talk, so I don't want to go too too crazy. But I did get my tarot reading. I'm not gonna go into detail about that, but basically. One big thing that she said to me was to focus more on what I want, not on what I don't want. And I thought that was interesting. She said that my, I got a Reiki as well and like a um, chakra balance type of thing. And her name is Denise Foster, by the way. I get, I got so many emails after I mentioned that I was going to a tarot reader. I got so many emails asking for her information. So I'll just say it here. Her name is Denise Foster. Her website is chakrabalancedenise.com. Uh, this is my second time going to her. I really like her. And she's based in Buckhead, Atlanta. But she does calls over the phone too, if you want to, like Zoom calls. But yeah, I got a chakra balance. She said my root chakra was blocked. And it was so interesting because she, she told me that after the fact, obviously, like after unblocking me. And... I had told her, I, I am familiar with the chakras, but I couldn't remember where the root chakra was. And um, I had told her like, I had told her that during, toward the beginning of when she was like doing her Reiki and such, that I felt this heavy pressure in my lower stomach, lower back, like on my spine. And it just felt hot and like pressure. And she was like, that's your root chakra opening. And I just thought that was mind blowing because like I felt that. I felt that before she said my root chakra was blocked. I felt that before I even knew what the, where the root chakra was located because I could not remember. I looked it up on my drive home, actually. I didn't even ask her. I don't want to go too into detail because it's not just my business. There wasn't stuff just about me. I always ask about my family. I She brings up Sebastian pretty frequently, which I always find mind blowing. But I found uh, last time when I went to her, and even when I got a tarot card with somebody else, like they always say that our relationship is good. And I just love that so much. And she was saying like, you've seen both. No, she said no relationship is 100%, but you've seen both sides of him and there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, I also, I did ask about my health and I was like, is there anything about my health? She said she's not seeing anything bad. Like if the, whatever has happened was the worst of it. And I, that gives me so much hope. Like I never want to experience 
2021 again and how I felt and the pain I felt, all that stuff. So, um, wow. Yeah, that makes me really happy. Yeah, that's the gist of it. There was obviously a lot more. This time I recorded it so I could refer back to it. Um, but I did want to touch on my goals a little bit for 2023. And I don't, I also don't want to go too into detail because I feel like there's some things I want to just hold on to for myself. Uh, if you're interested in my finance goals, I have a whole separate video on that on my other channel. So that's, I can link that down below. Um, random goal is that I want to read at least 30 books in 2023. They're like just fiction books. I, uh, you saw my, my books. I would like to read either all the ones I haven't read or 30 books, either or. I'm on book number three right now. I do want to get a promotion at work. I'm aiming for quarter one, so that's going to be like end of March into April. Like in April, I would be promoted. Um, I am aiming for that. I am going to work toward that. I want to get my platform app builder certification. Uh, I'm aiming to do that this month. That's related to Salesforce, related to my career. I do want to get another cert certification at some point later this year, but we'll see. I would like to practice more Spanish, but I don't know, that's been tough. I think my health and my fitness are pretty solid. I don't I don't really have any set goals per se. Maybe I'll set some later in the year, but I'm just kind of going with the flow and I feel like that's right for me right now. I don't feel like doing anything crazy. I don't feel like setting any goals with my fitness. I'm just wanting to go to the gym when I go to, you know? Uh, something I was talking about with Sebastian is I realized that I've always felt the pressure and need to always have like the week would start over of my workouts you know like monday was leg day tuesday was back and biceps wednesday was my hit workout thursday was leg day friday was blah 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 like that and then if i didn't get in a body part in the week i would be like oh that's i will you know i won't get to train that body part so then i would start the whole thing over so monday was leg day tuesday was back and biceps and i had talked about this in a vlog recently where i was like upset that I wasn't training particular body parts. So now what I'm going to be doing is just pushing everything. Each if I don't if I don't train shoulders on Friday like I'm supposed to, for example, okay, I'll do that on Saturday and then Sunday will be a rest day. Monday will be the next day that I'm supposed to do even if it's, you know, supposed to be um like chest and triceps. It doesn't need to be the same thing every week. So I'm just going to work I'm just going to focus my workouts on a uh, like a six day plan and I don't know how to explain it. What's that called? I don't know, but that's that's what I'm gonna do Hopefully that makes sense to y'all because I was trying to explain it to Sebastian. I didn't do a good job So that's what I really want to focus on is just a lot of consistency and probably my pull-ups really like if I were to set a goal it would be to be able to do multiple pull-ups without a rest and wide grip pull-ups because I struggle with those yeah, just a lot of focus on my side hustles. Uh, obviously, I have every year of my life, I primarily have financial goals because that's the big area of my life that I, I find easy to work on because it's just math, it's just numbers for the most part. I'm off of social media. I don't know if I've even talked about that, but I'm off of social media, so I feel like I'm probably going to do that for the whole year or the bulk of the year and I have I've been off of it for like two weeks now and feel great already like no regrets there I love it so much to be off again the other big thing is my morning routine so y'all saw this week was kind of getting back into that and I want to make that a big thing in my life again because I think morning routines are the best and I as I was I think I talked about that already in this video so just going to continue that which my morning routine is where I knock out a lot of my self-improvement and positive habit types of things that make my days really good which make my make my weeks much better and my months much better and then the year much better so i'm just going to work on on doing that i think that's really it like that's just my intention this year like my word of the year i would say is focus because uh i was i got really into social media last year not into it it was just like it really distracted me I was having a hard time focusing on my stuff. Uh, I would spend like 10 minutes doing something and then feel like I had to, oh, I need a snack. Oh, I need to look on Instagram. Like something was just pulling me away from working on my stuff. And now that I have those things out the way, I feel a lot better. Um, yeah, this is gonna be way too long of a video. So I am hoping to go to the gym now, start editing my vlog from Christmas and then my vacation and hopefully get this video up 
within uh, a week of everything else going up. So that's it for this one. Um, thank you. Sorry it was all over the place, but thank you for watching. By the way, I know that there's been like video requests. I have I have it written down, like stuff that I've seen. I know I know somebody asked for me to do my after work routine. Uh, I'll get like I will do those videos. Any of the videos that y'all have mentioned, I will likely talk about them. So that's gonna be it for this one. And I'll see you in my next video.